The work that was done at the Taj is still practiced today. Here at Calacriti, one of the finest marble shops in the city, stone workers pass their skill from father to son. Some of these families have been working in this profession for hundreds of years. The same tools used by the Taj craftsmen are still used today. Designs are etched on large pieces of marble which have been colored with henna to make the designs easy to see. Then a carver carefully chips out the design approximately three to four millimeters deep. Meanwhile, a second craftsman is shaping the individual stones using an emery stone to file and shape the pieces. This is delicate work. Some of the finished pieces are no wider than a needle. Then with the hands of a surgeon, the inlaid craftsman takes over. Each piece is handset and a flower bud the size of a quarter can have anywhere from 10 to 40 individual pieces of stone. Technically, this art is called Pietra Dura, believed to have been brought to India by the Italians, who taught them to carve flowers that they were unfamiliar with, with incredible accuracy. Pietra Dura took off in Rome in the 1500s and was truly refined in Florence. Less than a hundred years later, Shah Johan designed the Taj using this new art form to perfection. Nowhere in Italy you will find such incredible use of this Italian art form. Typically here in Agra, the designs have a Persian bent to them, as opposed to Roman or Medician. This piece contains nearly 10,000 individual pieces, and it's only a few inches wide. The single piece took one artisan working full time over three years to complete. Everything in the shop is for sale and can be taken home with you. The shop carefully packs small items for carrying away, but if you are interested in large items, the store will ship anywhere in the world.